Hi guys, welcome back to the home and homestead. My name is Rebecca and today on the homestead we'll be doing a cook with me and a crock pot cooking where we make some slow cooker lemon garlic parmesan pasta or a crock pot lemon parmesan garlic fettuccine. This is a really tasty pasta dish that you can easily do in the slow cooker crock pot or the instant pot set on slow cook setting. So follow along while we make this delicious pasta dish using our slow cooker. All right, so we have our slow cooker here. I'll do one pound of a fettuccine. Just place that into your crock pot liner. To this, we're going to add three cups of a chicken broth or a chicken stock. Next, we will add a quarter cup of lemon juice. That's the juice of about one lemon. We'll add two cloves of minced garlic. If you use a pre-minced garlic, you can add two teaspoons. If you like a lot of garlic, just add a little more. Next, we'll add a half teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper. That's ground black pepper. Let me stir all the seasonings into this broth here with the pasta. Now we'll just break the pasta in half. And that way it all sits in the liquid mixture that we've created here. Now we will replace the lid here. So now we'll just turn on our slow cooker. We're going to cook this on low for two hours, or you could do high for about one hour. About halfway through, you can stir the pasta and see how everything's cooking. So we'll just let this cook, and we'll come back for the next step. All right, guys, the slow cooker lemon garlic parmesan pasta is finished. I will take the lid off here, and we'll just add the last few ingredients. So this took about an hour and a half. I'll kind of stir it around so I can show you how it looks. The pasta is all cooked through, slightly al dente, and it absorbed all of that chicken broth sauce that we created so that pasta has a lot of flavor now. Now we're going to add one and a half cups of heavy cream and a half cup of grated Parmesan cheese and then one tablespoon of fresh parsley. If you don't have fresh parsley, you can do about a teaspoon of dried parsley. Now we'll mix this through. We'll just let this cook on low just to let this heavy cream get warm and to melt that Parmesan cheese that we added, which works out just about perfectly because we have 13 minutes left on the timer from the original two hours that we set. So we put the lid on here and that'll help this warm through and we'll come back and see how this tastes. This pasta is all ready to go. I have it served up. It's a nice creamy sauce now. Let's have a taste. So creamy and flavorful. Those noodles have absorbed all that chicken stock flavoring and the lemon. You get that crispness from the lemon and then the garlic. When we added the heavy cream and Parmesan, it made it a nice creamy sauce. This is such a simple but tasty recipe. You can come home after a long day, throw this into the slow cooker, take care of what you need to, and within about an hour and a half, you'll have this meal completely ready to go and it is delicious no fuss involved. If you wanted to, you could step this up and add some grilled chicken or grilled shrimp. That would taste really wonderful over the top as well and make an even more complete meal. But this, a nice glass of wine and a rustic bread would be a lovely dinner. Well, I hope you enjoyed our time together in the kitchen while we did this crock pot cooking and made this slow cooker lemon garlic Parmesan pasta. If you like more inspiration on other meals you can make with your slow cooker or crock pot or instant pot on the slow cook setting, just check out the other videos I have on crock pot cooking. 
I have a macaroni and cheese, as well as a rosemary and thyme chicken dumpling soup, which is nice and thick and can be a stew as well. My recipes and in the kitchen playlist has a number of dishes that you can try out and see if you enjoy them yourself. Well, I hope you had fun with me in the kitchen today while we made this crock pot cooking. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video in particular, please give it a thumbs up. See you next time. Take care.